morning and sunny Sunday afternoon. Hope you're all well. Uh, today I'm going to be just having a bit of a chat and Mrs. MLG is going to be doing a bit of chat and, uh, and I'm going to be dropping my mini off my painting handle just like that. Uh, and I'm going to be painting a bit more onto these Iron Jaws Orcs. Hi Red Snail, how you doing? Um, so I'm going to try and get these done, ready, so I can blather a wash over them and then just do like the highlights and stuff. Uh, oh, that was really weird. The thing going up the screen made me a bit disorientated. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get these guys uh, done so I can get a wash on them and then next week I'll be able to get the basin and everything done and then they'll be uh, tabletop ready so I can get my Path to Glory games in at a thousand points. And then I've already done the more crusher, just need to do the rider, and then I'll be able to pay fifteen hundred points as well. So uh, we're we're doing well. We're doing well. I just I've got six of these guys to get get done. There's not really that much to do. It's just time consuming doing all the little bits and blobby pieces and uh, what have you. And I keep getting distracted by space marines and giants and other bits and pieces. So what's everybody? Uh, what's everybody on? Oh yeah, and we've now got we've now got stream loots, so you can play cards and make us do things on stream. That's a, that's a good idea. Excuse me while I just take my hoodie off. It's, it's a bit warm. Oh. Batman, I am Batman. Got to say it in a silly voice though, aren't you? It was on last night just before I went to uh, bed. So it like the uh, the. Bane, that is it. Dark Knight Rises was on at bedtime. Didn't watch it because I've seen it so many times before. I'm Batman. There was uh, there's that guy on like YouTube, isn't the Bat Dad or something like that, and he just does loads of silly videos with a little Batman mask on and a deep voice. Ah, so I've seen Reds now. Uh, I can see Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Wicked D. Good afternoon, all. Apologies if I've missed anybody. So, this is Vallejo Flatter. That I'm using here. Not Flatter. I do apologise. US Field Drab. With a little bit of uh, the Insta Water Plus mixed into it to make it just a little smoother. Uh, and this is going on all the like leathery strappy areas and what have you because what I'm going to do is once I've painted all the base colours onto this model is it's going to get an all over wash of uh, Agrax Earthshade and Null Oil mixed together and then we'll just pick out a few details from there and then that'll, uh, that'll be it done but that, that'll shade it nicely across the whole mini not quite as harsh as going with pure I'm gonna have to just give up on this my blue tack is failing me I've uh, I've got some of my other figures on my big painting handle no I've used it uh, what was I gonna say I don't know lost me lost me a train of thought now so um, and I'm using the Citadel synthetic brush still I've been persevering with these uh, I don't like this this smaller one the end splits apart you have to keep washing it regularly uh, need to I've need... got a question for you oh yeah why are you still using it because uh, I want to I want to like it I keep meaning to like clean the stuff out with your hand gel and see if that works and I just haven't done it yet. Do you want yeah. me to see if I can clean it? Yeah, you you could see if you could clean it for me. Really you'd cool. have to pass it. Then. All right. Well, I will. Bear, bear with me a second. Oh, I don't need a bit of scrunchy blue roll. Thank you. So, but I have been using this larger one. This is the uh, the base S brush. So I've been using that this afternoon to paint some space marines in the uh, in the sunshine. Gave that one a bit of a whirl, uh, and it worked pretty well. So while Mrs. MLG is cleaning the smaller one out, I'll uh, 
I'll just use this one. It's got, this one's actually got a good point on it. It's not been too bad. I don't know whether that... I've just wrecked that little one by being too rough with it. I just thought I'd give them a go so I could I could give people a bit more of an honest opinion about them. Because when we first got them, I didn't really give them a good try, I don't think. Been, uh, been spoilt by the Rosemary and Co. brushes and the Green Stuff World brushes. Thank you very much. We'll give that a uh, give that a try in a minute. Let's get this bit done there. <coughs> so these guys are Iron Jaws Oruk Gore Grunters, and they are basically orcs on massive boar pig things uh, with huge spiky teeth and stuff. These guys, they're uh, they're absolutely devastating in game when they get to charge into uh, into the enemy. They're uh, they're pretty cool, and they're very expensive points wise, so you don't get many of them in your army. So my uh, thousand point army is twelve of these guys and a couple of characters. And then one unit of five Ard Boys, as they're called, what used to be Black Orcs in the old um, editions of Warhammer. So Ard Boys, they're regular, regular, still still massive Orcs, but regular Orcs. Um, not quite as uh, sizable as these these guys on their big pigs. But the, uh, the unit of five Ard Boys of my claiming objectives guys and these guys are my charging in and messing up the enemy guys Tony says the small one is shocking the green stuff world synthetics and the army painter brushes are excellent for grunt work yeah I'm, I'm, the, the only thing is I've really gone off uh, the green stuff world brushes recently um, purely because they've put their prices up so much and I just think like why would you buy well, I, I understand it's personal preference but why why uh, anybody would buy an army paint brush over say like a Rosemary & Co Sable for the same money uh, it just seems like it just seems crazy. So if so long as you haven't got an issue, but then that's why we. Oh no! Well, I haven't used an army painter brush for a long time. No, oh, sorry. I need to be over here. To... <laughs> haven't used an army painter brush for quite some time. And while well, I've been trying other things out, so when I found Green Stuff World brushes, I I just started using the Green Stuff World ones. And uh, and I do like the green stuff world brushes, they uh, they're really good. And then when we tried out the rosemary and co ones, I was just totally spoiled. So we just use those now. We is in the royal way, obviously. But um, yeah, army painter, just just the the prices. Pete the hydrator says, mm, "That's strange." I don't, I don't know what's strange, Pete. I can't see the. Uh... Oh, right, okay. Isn't said. So. Oh, right, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't. I presume it's just the the ongoing global, like, issues. No notification for sub. Have you subbed? It hasn't. It hasn't told us that you have. No. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. yeah thank, thank you. you. It hasn't come through as a as a sub behind the scenes either. 
Mm. Very strange. Very strange. Yeah, the um, yeah, I'm sure it's probably the the same kind of knock on thing across the board, but uh, but then we wanted to try out some different things, so we got a, a, a different couple of ranges of synthetic brushes from Rosemary and Co, uh, which are quite affordable in price and what have you. So we, I haven't uh, haven't tried any of those brushes out myself yet, but we have sold a few, so. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll start seeing some customer reviews on some of those. It's uh, it's just difficult knowing what what the right. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, purchase one of those. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we spent a bit of time the other <laughs> night making some custom boxes. Didn't we? Some custom uh, loot cards or whatever they are for. Hon honestly, not really quite sure how they work. Still. <laughs> Pete the Hydrator would like you to give them the wave. Oh, Pete wants a wave. Better give him a wave. Pete wants a wave. Hi, Pete. Woo! You do look funny. You only got half a head. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's how they work. That's how they work, those card things. Yeah, we, uh, we'd we seen them, hadn't we? And we just thought, well, well let's, let's have a look. Maybe we could add that in as, uh, as something that we could do on stream. We could put some cool, cool prizes in and things. There's like different cards that you can get. Yeah. There is there is one where you can win a sticker, and is there one where you can win a mini? There's a yeah, you can win a not not painted, but yeah, you can win a win a Salance mascot mini, and you can win a uh, an MLG sticker, and uh, there's a few other things as well. Paint left-handed is in there, wicked D. Tony says, I can't see the card things, must be me using my phone. It's because you have to um, go to the link uh, and then that opens up another window, which is a bit of a pain in the bottom, but that's, um, it opens up another window and then they're like, I still haven't quite got my head around it yet, but basically they're, they're like cards and you get packs of mystery and then each card makes us do something. Pete's much more up on it. Pete uses, Pete uses them all the time. I think I can give some free packs, but I don't know. Yeah, you can, I yeah. don't know, <laughs> I don't know how. Well, you, go, you go onto the portal I'm, thing. I'm in the portal thing. <clears throat> and, then, and then there's a bit that says... How, how many packs? Can I? We've got, uh, I think we, we can give away 10 or something. I can give away 10 or something, what, the whole time? Yeah. If I put Tony's name in, it doesn't come up. Oh, yeah. may maybe you have to have an account first. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I think you have to have an account for me to be able to give uh, free packs away. But they're, um, it, it doesn't cost you anything to get, get, to an, get account. an account. <laughs> oh, that's no good, Tony, is it? What's that? Boots him off the stream. Yeah. That's no yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, we'd definitely rather you stay with us. <laughs> yeah, we'd rather you just stay with us. <laughs> but I think out of the people that are watching, uh, there's only Pete that has a, an account currently with loot is it loot studios or something I don't, stream uh, loots stream see this is how much i know about stuff so uh, so yeah if anybody wants to join in with the cards and um see what you can make us do then you just have to go on to that link streamloots.com forward slash mighty lancer and sign up it's free you just because you need your email 
um, to put it in and then uh, we can give away a couple of free packs and you can make us do stuff things. Yeah, yeah, I'll stick to my planning and sci-fi scenic thing. Yeah. yeah, cool. What sci-fi scenic thingy? Well, if you ever came into Discord, then uh, you I yeah. knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> but it's true. Oh, look. There, there's Wicked D. We could send Wicked D a pack. Pete the Hydrator says, hands up for five seconds. <laughs> Whee! Oh, you've got to hydrate with your hands, or how, how are you going to do that? I'll have to, I'll have to give you a drink like this. But... <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Hands up. Hands up. So, yeah, no, I'm not really 100% on the, on the workings, as Mrs. MLG says, but there's, there's a way that you can, you can, like, cash. Cards in, in, so if if, if if you if you get some that you don't want to use or or whatever, then you can you can break them into currency that you can then save up to get like legendary and uh, what have you cards. Just seemed like a bit of fun, so we thought we'd give it a whirl. It's uh, just something a bit different. So Tony, tell us about your uh, your sci-fi thing, if you don't mind. I'm uh, I'm curious, and I and I can't look in Discord while I'm streaming. I, I know. I, I was just breathing. I was having a breath. I was having a breath while I finished doing that little bit. So uh, what did I, I say it was U.S. Olive no U.S. something field drab U.S. field drab we're using and this is going to be the basis for uh, the leather colour on these guys. So not being overly uh, careful with it really because it's going to get a, a nice dirty wash over the top so just a, a rough coat of this and then it'll get a highlight over the top these are not getting myself hung up about doing these to some kind of amazing standard they're just going to be tabletop because I'm going to use them uh, a fair bit and They want to be easy to repaint if they take a knock. And you've also got something to show off a little later, haven't you? What, what's we, that? We have. So we've been sent uh, very kindly by Great Escape Games a couple of sprues of their new female gunfighters that are going to be uh, released in the not too distant future. So uh, they've sent us those, and I have assembled one sprue worth so each sprue makes five figures uh, and if they follow the same formula as they did for the male gunfighters you can get two sprues in a box for 15 pounds so enough to make 10 figures and uh, these ones make female figures so we'll show those off to you shortly so we've got like one complete sprue we can give you a look at and then obviously I've, I've built some, so I'll show you those. But they're pretty cool. Uh, I did mean to get. I don't know if I've. Uh, oh, I've got a. I've got a lizard man. I meant to get another mini to use, so you can see a comparison of scale because they're more a a true 28 mil figure than kind of the heroic 32 that we've come to. Have you? Oh, that'd be good. You've got a space marine. <laughs> Tony says, I've opted for a dramatic scene from the Starfinder scenario incident at Ab Absalom yeah. Station. Yeah. Namely, the exploration of the ghost ship. And yeah. I think, is this for um, the great MLG brush off sci fi category? Is, is this what I'm remembering? It'll be mainly scenics to offset my current poor health. Yes, 
Holding, holding the miniature and staring at it isn't doing uh, Tony much good at the moment. So, yeah. so lots of awesome scenics. Yes, for the brush off for May. That's right. Um, starting it now to get it, get it all ready. Awesome. But as as always, the uh, Mighty Lancer Games <clears throat> Great MLG Brush Off is a community led painting initiative, incentive, whatever, whatever the right word is. Um, so miniatures, scenics, layouts, whatever, all awesome. Uh, March is class stroke regiment. Hey, weekend geek. Uh, March is class stroke regiment. So if you've got an army that you're painting or a D&D class, or some people have taken it to be like a classy fellow or a uh, school class, little Miss MOG did an archery class. The, these guys are my uh, entry. Yeah, so uh, still plenty of time until the 31st of March to submit your picture for the great MLG brush off. You can use the Discord or social media to give us a tag and uh, tag MLG brush off and then I'll be able to find it and add it to the showcase video. It's awesome to see everybody's artwork and everybody's miniatures painted there is no judgment it is just for fun for all abilities and ages uh, so it's just something uh, that community the discord community decided what to do so we're doing it because you know it's fun and stuff yep yep and i did your harlequin troops that yep. was that yep. was my entry yeah uh, you, you haven't finished yet though you still got one more to paint no i haven't <laughs> no, I did. I did what you gave me, and that is all you get. Yeah. I'm doing this poop hell drake for you now. Yeah. You, you wanted want to do that, though. I wanted to do it until until I started doing it, and now I don't want to do it anymore. Because mm. it's it's not it's not turning out how I wanted it to. So I'm chucked my toys out the pram, and I'm sulking now with how rubbish it looks. No, it doesn't look rubbish. It does, but. You know, it'll be painted and it can go on a table, and then in the in the future we can repaint it again. Because it had already, it is a second-hand one, isn't it? It had already yeah. been painted by somebody else. Yeah. Uh, so. So you're rescue. rescuing it, really? Um, that's it. It needed a home, so I'm I'm rescuing it, giving it a home, taking care of it by telling it how rubbish it is, all things like that. Yeah. A, a good Mother's Day, anyone that's uh, involved in the in the whole shenanigans of Mother's Day. Shenanigans. Yeah. Well, like shenanigans. Not, not everybody's uh, not everybody bothers or, or has yeah, a case. You're just yourself a hole. Yeah. Right? I'll, I'll just. Shut Has everybody had a nice Sunday? Let's go for yeah. that one. Yeah. What you been up to, weekend geek? Is Wicked D still uh, DIYing, or have you had the day off? You have been in the garden, haven't you, my darling? Doing yep. some hobby. Like, yep. What's all that about? Painting in the sunshine. Even the music got dramatic for that. For that. <laughs> Painting outside. The sea threat's yeah. coming in now, though. Yep. That's no good. It's getting too manky to be out there. So we are, uh... Oh, Red Snail's been gardening. Yeah, we haven't actually been gardening. We have been in the garden, but yeah. uh, our, our garden doesn't get much love and attention, to be fair. The plants it's... that grow, grow, and the plants that don't grow, don't grow. And yeah. that's that's how it, our garden is. It's low, low maintenance. maintenance. We, we could say that it's like a wildlife garden, that we let it overgrow for all the while, but it's, that's not true either. I mean, there is lots of lovely wildlife. But uh, it's not on purpose. No, it is. It's a, it's a, yeah. It's a purposeful lack of care, like, care and attention from us because <laughs> <laughs> we've got too much other stuff going the bit, on. The so. bit around the back of the the bit around the back of the garage is purposefully overgrown with nettles and things because there's a certain type of butterfly that only likes nettles. So 
we, we leave those around there because nobody nobody goes around there it's not no one can get hurt by the nettles or anything the, the kid don't go around there and stuff so that is purposefully left but the rest of the garden just kind of does what it wants which is fine it looks very nice most of the time apart from that time that that tree grew so much that you couldn't actually get into the garage yeah well, it was it was not even a tree is it it's supposed to be a fuchsia yeah but it was ridiculously hardy and just kept growing at least we have some plants we do wicked dee most of them have been brought by the birds but yeah we do we do have some plants we need to the garden is secure when we moved in all those many years ago we secured the garden because we had two dogs so it is secure so uh, our current dog is now can't escape or anything daft like that but that was about as much as much effort as it gets maintaining the borders yeah. <laughs> to make sure the dog can't escape is about as much effort but no it's all good fun isn't it and shortly you're going to show off these female gunslingers from Ga great escape games so they'll be pretty cool and you can tell us all about your thoughts and feelings on them after you stuck some of them together I will. And uh, tell us what you think. What other Great Escape Games stuff do we have then? Because I'm assuming that we stock this for the for the gentleman to have got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, Dead Man's Hand, which is a which is what these things are designed for, is a, a very popular Wild West game. Uh, and there is a Dead Man's Hand Down Under to depict your. Uh, is it Antipodean? Is that the correct word? The, like in the Australias uh, of the world, like the, the the rural and the outback, like bank robbers and all that kind of uh, thing. The Pinkertons and the all all that kind of era of Western fun. So you can have cowboys and the cavalry regiments of of the. Civil War and all these kind of things depicted in the game. Uh, that's quite popular. So they've uh, they've got that. <laughs> Sorry, I was uh, I was trying to do two things at once, and, it, and it's never any good when I try and do two things at once. So they've got that, and then we've got another game, the Chicago Way, which is a very similar mechanic-wise game, but that's Chicago and gangsters and uh, Tommy Guns and Al Capone and Do you have to talk in a funny accent when you when you play? Yeah. yeah. Gonna yeah. gonna send you to the hospital, see. <laughs> I think Ed I think Ed Gamble did it much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think he did, yeah. Um, yeah, so Chicago Way, gangsters, mobsters, agents, cops uh, with vehicles and stuff as well. Is uh, is very popular and then they also do uh, some World War 2 themed war games and range of miniatures so they do um, uh, I can't remember what it's called can't remember what it's called it's on the tip of my tongue but they've got a very popular set of rules for World War 2 uh, war gaming and I think World War 1 war gaming and I can't remember what it's called right now but they do do some and it's very good. And they also do quite obscure, um, or less popular, should we say, miniatures ranges for World War Two. So Hungarians, they've just done a, a range of Hungarian miniatures, and uh, Belgians, and, and some other kind of figure ranges for the less popular of the World War Two factions. So if you want. I think they do Belgians on bicycles or something like that as well. If you want really good quality figures for the lesser nations from the World War Two conflicts, then Great Escape have got probably what you want. And uh, their most recent release has been these fantastic plastic or will be these fantastic plastic female gunfighters. 
Do we know when they're coming out? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure we can find out. Why are you looking at me like that? I was trying to uh, trying to tell you something without saying it out loud. <laughs> Realise that I've missed a bit on this guy. We'll have to we'll have to look it up. We'll have to look it up. Oh, what was that? Hey, look, Pete subscribed. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Thanks for, for subscribing, subscribing, Pete. That's extremely <laughs> kind of you. He says you've got to hydrate now. Hydrate. I, I sure no. will. I sure will. Let's have a hydrate. Ah, thank you very much. Oh, super. Yeah, it took it long enough. I wonder uh, wonder if we've got like a bit of a delay going on. It took it a while to catch up from from earlier. Right, so I'll just I'll get this uh, this colour all used up on these guys. I realised that I've missed a couple of bits on this one. So I'll get all this all this done and then we'll show off the uh, the cool new figures from Great Escape Games. They recently, uh, in time for Vapn Attack at the start of February, released a, uh, a new edition, or a new, not a new edition of the rules, but a new version of their starter set. So they've done a, a couple of limited edition runs of a starter set for uh, Dead Man's Hand. And they produced one at the start of February that has their plastic gunfighters in rather than the metal figures that they also produce. And uh, they've been extremely popular, those starter sets. Great value, £35. You get the rules and uh, 15 plastic gunfighters, I think. And the dice and the cards and stuff that you need to be able to play the game. It's a great value way to get into popular gaming system. And they're a British company, which is uh, always good. Produce some like fantastic quality stuff, sculpted uh, in Wales, I believe. Right, so that's that guy. There's some very talented sculptors in Wales, isn't there? The Moonstone guys and. These guys and uh, Bad Squiddo originally came from Wales, I think. And equally, all rangers that we stock. Yeah. Oh, funny that. It is funny, that, isn't it? Yeah. We currently have in a move around in the shop. If you've been in recently and wonder where everything's gone. It's just being moved around. It hasn't. It hasn't gone. So um, we're putting all of the miniatures together along the wall. All of the Bad Squiddo, the Lucid Eye, Whiz Kids, Reaper, Northumbrian Tin Soldier, Bad Squiddo. Might have already said them. Uh, Moonstone. Moonstone. Warlord. Warlord. Uh, sure, there's another one. Uh, Frostgrave. Frostgrave. There's so many. Yeah. Frostgrave, Gangs of Rome, oh, Batman. Oh, all the miniatures along one wall yep. so that you walk in and they're all in one place. So you don't have to go around the whole shop trying to find them. Uh, all in one place. And then when you, if you follow around, you should then get to paint so you can paint your miniatures. And then if you carry on following around, you should get to um, Scenics and... Gamers Grass and Geek Gaming. All, all the basic materials. Green Stuff World. Stuff. Javis. All the basic materials. So that everything is in one section that you could possibly need for your miniatures. And then obviously we've still got Games Workshop. And then we're going to have a massive section for board games. We're going to increase our board games. Because yeah. we do sell board games currently. 
but we could certainly sell or stock a lot more so we're going to increase the board games that we have and we're going to give them a nice shiny new section so that they are all together and we're going to move the counter so all all yeah. go at the minute yeah lots of uh, lots of update occurring uh, over the next few weeks to hopefully make your shopping experience a whole lot easier in store and of course the staff are always going to be there to help you if you need help um, and tell you where things are and help you if you need any advice but sometimes you just want to run in and pick something up uh, with your head down and not talk to anybody <laughs> or is that just me shopping that just might just be me shopping the wants you to turn it up so, Pete yeah. has used his card to turn the music up. Are we all ready for me to turn the music up? Yeah. <laughs> boop, boop, turn the music up. How, how long will we turn the music up? I'm sure everybody wants to hear me uh, poopy dooping along to the news and then that's what it came for. <laughs> you get me whistle out in a minute. Thanks, Pete. Right, nearly it finished. Does it sound really quiet now? It does. I hope you were dancing along, Pete. You'll have to tell us if it's still too loud and you can't hear us now. Yeah. <laughs> I liked uh, I liked Tony's comment about it being a, a, a sad rave, a disappointing rave organised by folk singers. Yeah, maybe, maybe you'll have to uh, time that card better next time, Pete. Or you might have really liked that tune. Who knows? Who knows? Right, almost, almost finished with this guy. guy. Almost finished with this guy. And then, yeah, you missed the rave, Wicked do You missed and, it. And then we can uh, look at these awesome minis. So let's just get that bit there on his thigh. Oh. I reckon I've missed that bit on every one. Never mind. We'll sort that out later. Let's get this bit up here. I know, I know, I know. Sorry. I was just uh, just concentrating a second, making sure I missed any bits. 
So we've got all the stuff done on that guy. Right, let's have a look at some. Let's have a look at some figures. So, where's my sprue? So this is the sprue here from Great Escape Games. This is the thing. I'll shift me palette out of the way so we can see it all over. So this is the sprue from Great Escape Games. So we've got two of these. This is Gunfighter Sprue 2, female edition. And uh, so as you can see, there are five sets of legs, one in trousers and four in skirts. And then there are five torsos. So here we've got one that's got like a jacket on and then four that have all got kind of waistcoat bodice type things going off. Uh, we've got a chicken. And we think that this bit here is a cactus of some description. Uh, and then there are plenty of weapons all around the sprue. So we've got left and right handed pistols. There are um, one, two, three shotguns or rifles. And then there is a fourth one which is actually in two parts the shotgun. So it's a double barrel shotgun side by side shotgun. Uh, and the handle with the like receiver is here, and then the barrel is there. So, and it's actually the way it's been modelled is so that you can have it so it's split, so it looks like they're going to reload it. Well, it's very uh, very clever way of laying it out on the sprue. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, these blobs here down this side, they're empty holsters, and then there are some holsters with pistols still in left and right handed sides for all of those, which is pretty cool. Good selection of pistols, good selection of uh, other hands as well. So like waving or whatever hands. A uh, couple that are holding like the barrels of these rifles if you want to have them holding in two hands. You get uh, what 11 different heads for your five bodies across the top here. So there are one, two, three masked heads. And then there is... Uh, yeah, there's six with hats on, and then a few with like sort of just regular hairstyles. Some of them I notice on the back have got little holes in the back of the heads there, like that. And then these parts there, 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 there are like ponytails to glue onto the backs of their heads, if you wish, which is pretty funky. Uh, there's an arm holding a lantern if you uh, if you want to model one as like a old lady. I was going to model one as an old lady. I'll get on to that in a minute with the lantern. And then when I started looking a bit closer, realised that I hadn't left myself enough spares. So if I ever get around to building this sprue worth of figures, uh, we might build old lady, old lantern lady out of, uh, out of these ones. But yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, there's a variety of different size pistols as well. So if this one here and that one there are quite big, solid, chunky uh, pistols, whereas a couple of the others are a lot slim line things, just to show you like different sizes of guns. Is uh, it's pretty cool. It's like well thought out, well laid out sprue, plenty on there. It's uh, it's pretty good. So let's have a look at some figures that I have built. So a first one that I built is uh, is this lady. I envisage her as like a, a, if I hold her a bit closer, should I? Yeah, there we go. So I envisage her as like a female sheriff type. So she's kind of like holding her hand up saying like, no, wait, before I draw my pistol and shoot you. Let's talk it out. So I gave her the, uh, gave her the ponytail on the back there with her trousers on. Now, they don't come with these bases. They come with these quite nice slimline uh, molded bases on the feet but then I had these these green Renedra bases kicking about and I thought like well all my other figures are based on like 25 mil round bases so I might as well stick these on there uh, I'll use a bit of um, Games Workshop Agrelin Badlands or whatever it is the, the one that looks like desert and just build it up a little bit so the uh, the ground looks about right 
So she's uh, she's the first one I've built, quite nice. And obviously there's like five torsos, five pairs of legs, all those heads, loads of variation that you can do. Now here's, here's one that I made earlier. This is where I realized that there was a little bit of an issue, depending on how you pose your figures. So this one, um, on her skirt, here, I don't know if you can see there, on her skirt, she's got like a, a arrangement where she's got several buttons, and I thought like, oh well, there must be a there must be a torso that's got the similar kind of design on. Oh, no, sorry, there is that better. I'll just move it around all over the place, and nobody will be able to see it. That'll be good. Yeah, right. So I thought that there must be a torso that's got a similar kind of design to this one, but there isn't. Which uh, seemed a bit odd because I thought like that'd be handy if if she'd had a dress on. Anyway, so the issue that I've got is when you put the arms on. So I left I left the heads till last. So I stuck the arms on and then I put the heads on, so I could have the head pointing in the direction of the weapon, like in this case. But certain of the heads won't will only go facing forwards. So for example, the head that I've given this lady. I've given her two pistols and she is facing forwards but the head that I've given her with the hat because she's got this like mask on and uh, and bits of her hair uh, coming down the sides in uh, in here so I was gonna give this head to this figure but I couldn't because of the way that the neck goes on you couldn't orient the head facing along the arm and it looked a bit weird so she went, she got that head instead on this other figure. So she's a she's a proper gunfighter, two pistol Annie or whatever we're gonna call her. I don't know, but yeah, they're uh, pretty cool. And then the same with this head here with the uh, with the pigtails, that'll only go facing forwards. So she's had to have a slightly different pose than I was gonna give her as well, but otherwise nice and you see the holsters that you get like spare holsters they're pretty cool I never built any of the male figures from this range so I can't really comment on those too much and then uh, this one I, I obviously decided that I like the mast heads better so this lady's got the double barrel shotgun and uh, she's ready for action it's got her pit backup pistol as well I, I reckon that these are uh, female bank robbers all masked up and what have you but yeah they're really nice so like really good quality sculpts minimal amount of mold line on them they uh, they came off the sprue nice and easy because the sprues are laid out they're like the gates or whatever you want to call them on the sprue they're very easy to get to the uh, the parts there's a couple of things that i thought was a bit odd and i, I talked about it with mrs mlg earlier on I guess on reflection it isn't really too much of an issue so there's there's a pair of arms here so that's the left arm and that's the right arm now those arms don't wouldn't combine with any of the other arms on the sprue because they've got kind of like bunch sleeves as if it's part of a dress or something like or a different type of jacket whereas all the other sleeves oh, sorry I'm gonna have to have a drink All the other all the other arms on the sprue are regular sleeves. Uh, apart, there's a couple here where they've got like the sleeves slightly rolled up, and I said to Mrs. MLG that I thought it was a bit odd because you can't then combine the different arms. But I guess there isn't really a reason why you couldn't have a rolled up sleeve and a non rolled up sleeve. But the bunch sleeves would look a bit odd if you had one bunch sleeve and one non bunch sleeve. But apart from So the uh, the bunchy sleeves are here, there, down the bottom, down the bottom there, near my uh, fingernail. So bunch sleeves there and there, yeah, and then the bare or rolled up sleeves are over here. But you could certainly yeah. have one rolled up sleeve. Yeah, you, you could have, have one rolled up sleeve, one non rolled up sleeve. There, and it sounds like I'm moaning, but I'm not really. There's loads of options and versatility in this kit. 
And and if they do it at the same price as, as the previous one, where it's like two of these sprues for £15, enough to make ten figures, that, however you want. And I'm sure that you could probably combine some of these parts with the male sprue to get some like different variation as well if you wanted to. So I think they're really cool. I think they're really cool. Thank you very much to Great Escape Games for sending these to us. Um, excuse me. So we'll uh, we'll probably build some more of these from the other sprue, and then uh, at some point over the next month, it'll definitely be April. But before they get in the painting cube, we might even uh, might even paint some, and we'll paint them on stream. I think I think that'll be a good idea. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in uh, in the chat and stuff. Let me know whether you think that these look pretty cool. Or if you'd like to see any more bits of them or anything like that, then, uh, then just let us know. We'll quite happily show those off again. Move my little uh, gunfighters over there. F gunfighters 2, I believe it's going to be called, the set. Excuse me a sec. Sorry about that. Right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on the hook, I think. So let's get some uh, let's get some fire red. Yeah, the uh, oh I was gonna show you a size comparison before I get before I get stuck in uh, doing that. Let me show you a size comparison between uh, one of these guys and Sir Four Scale, perhaps. Here we go. Here's. Uh, Here's Sir Four Scale from Reaper alongside one of our Wild West ladies. <laughs> so they're uh, they're very much of a similar scale, but I know that some of the Reaper figures are much larger than Sir Four Scale. So they're uh, they're a decent size. They're a decent size. They're well proportioned. Let's uh, let's see how how he goes against my wizard m lizard man. Yeah, so she's not crazy small or anything against the uh, against the old lizard man there. That's pretty cool. Good good sizing. However, against against the Joker from uh, DC. What I'm trying to show it off. So towards the TV. Stay. Yeah. <laughs> it's because my camera's on a delay so this is uh, the Joker mini from the Suicide Squad uh, set from Night Models and you can see how uh, how much of a size difference there is in those they're like not not designed to be on any kind of size comparison with this guy but definitely more more in keeping with kind of traditional 28 mil scale figures which is cool. I, I think they're uh, they're great. Right, got myself all distracted again. Yeah, the uh, Red Snail says it's good to know he's got a Wild West Warhammer rule set. Yeah, it was supposed to be a pretty good set of rules. That the uh, was it was it just called Warhammer Wild West? I can't remember. I don't think I've ever owned a copy, but we have have played it in the past. What was that? Pigeon. It's just a pigeon, sweetheart. It's okay. It sounded like it was. I'll, I'll look after you. It sounded Sorry. like it was in the summer. <laughs> what colour are you using? So this is this is fire red from Vallejo. This is uh, this is an air paint fire red. Just to do these uh, top knots on these guys. Orcs don't typically grow hair, so they've obviously like stolen this from uh, some knights or something, some stormcast. 
helmet plume. Maybe Pete made you wig me. Maybe yeah. Made, made the orcs wig me. Awesome. So these guys are... They're nearly, nearly done. Nearly done. There's, I say they're nearly done. They're nowhere near done. There's loads of stuff left to do in there. I need to, uh, I need to do some, pick out some skulls. I've got some like teeth to do. I've realised that I've missed a load a bit on that guy's arm. This, ah, it's Legends of the Old West. That's what it was called. That's it. I, uh, I remember now. Yeah, I've definitely played it. I think we played it at a war game show many years ago. We had all the other Warhammer Ancients rule sets and uh, supplements and what have you. In fact, I've uh, I've got them in my office. They were uh, they were great. We played a lot of some of the Warhammer Ancients stuff using a variety of fifteen mil and twenty eight mil scale figures. <laughs> I won't see an orc with a Roy Wood wig. An orc with a Roy Wood wig. I will, uh, we'll work on that one for you, Tony. We'll work on that one. What time are we on? Must be, uh, must be nearly five o'clock, isn't it? So. We'll, uh, we'll it's, draw. it's because you you have not figuring out time today, are you, sweetheart? Because the no. clocks have changed and they've really, really confused you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mrs. Mrs. MLG I got it. I won't tell everybody. <sighs> right, I'll, I'll, I'll just do this last one with the uh, with, with the red, and then I think we'll call it a day. So we're back tomorrow from eight pm. Where uh, where I will be painting the TT Combat Giant tomorrow night. We're uh, back tomorrow night. Hopefully, I uh, I'll be able to speak by then, and my brain won't be uh, quite so addled. And we'll let everybody crack on with enjoying the rest of their Sunday. So hope. Uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Have some in, uh, have some really tasty for tea, and uh, and join us tomorrow from eight pm, where we will be painting this guy. So tomorrow is going to be blue, lightening up the blue. I want it to be really pale, and uh, and I'm also going to try and get the metal done on his uh, armbands and like wristlet uh, bitty pieces there so join us tomorrow if you can it'd be great to see you and in the meantime enjoy yourselves and be good thank you very much see you all soon